Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this character showcase video. We have another awesome Abaddon that's been finished by Kev, one of the artists here at Siege. Uh, it's a great model, as I'm sure you may have seen from our previous Abaddon uh, showcase video. If you haven't seen that, I'll put a link to that in the description. This one's slightly different. He is standing on a lieutenant, not an Imperial Fist, and uh, has a slightly different colour palette to him as well, but overall really cool model. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Siege Studios or what we are as a business, Siege Studios is a premium commission miniature painting studio located in the UK with 28 painters who all paint from an above tabletop level as a minimum up to a competition level. Uh, we are a character specialist, so characters are something that do specialise in the company. Uh, that's for your showcase, top end models, all the way through to your leaders for your armies as well. Um, so if you are interested in a quote, very simply, all you need to do is head to our website, which is linked in the description of this video, complete a contact form, which is obviously the link you found below, fire that off to us to get the process started. We're going to come back in a second and have a look at the War Master in loads more detail. See you guys back in a sec. So let's look at the War Master in all his glory. Awesome model, completed by Kev, one of the artists here at Siege. He had an amazing time working on him. A really, really cool colorway that we've done on this model as well. Slightly darker than what maybe you may have seen on the other Abaddon video, which is on our channel. If you haven't checked that out, then that will be in the description of this video for you guys to look at. Um, but as I mentioned, we do specialize in characters here at Siege, and this model is a good example of a silver level character. Uh, that's our first level of characters which we paint. Uh, Kev's done a great job on picking up all the little details throughout this model because he has loads and loads on him. As you can see, he's standing proudly on an ultramarine lieutenant, uh, not an imperial fist like our other Abaddon, which we completed recently. Uh, but the, the colour palette on this is slightly darker in hue. The sword, uh, very much for me, other than the red uh, sort of tinge to it from the original second edition Chaos artwork, has really reminds me of that in the darker hue that it's got and the, uh, the bright sort of whitey blue uh, glowing faces that are in the sword. Um, obviously, the hilt of Draconian is obviously painted in its traditional red, which is really nice. But all the edging on the armor there, as you can see, uh, and that belt buckle with the ominous eye as well, and the darker reddy brown kind of hue to it, which is really, really nice. Uh, all the copper work and gold on there, fully highlighted uh, through multiple stages and contrast added to it to give it that real ornate uh, kind of look. For armor that's 10,000 years old, you'd expect it to have a very, um, very sort of prestigious and uh, sort of darker, sort of dingy kind of look to it, which is this has got. We've got that lovely uh, cape in the inner lining of the cape in that dark red through black red to a sort of a, a, a sort of a very dull kind of red color obviously all highlighted on the edges as well there as you can see in the front tassel and again same as the rear of the cape and that lovely sort of dark dark black um sort of matte kind of finish which is really nice um Moving around, obviously, all the uh, fur on the shoulder all picked out and highlighted through various stages, all the bone work and bits and bobs on the trophy rack. Plus, as much as it saddens me, obviously, a Blood Angel helmet on that trophy rack. Um, but yeah. <laughs> and then uh, the back of the cape here, as you can see, you've got obviously that lovely subtle uh, transition on the edges just to a darker grey, which is really nice. And then all picked out in a bright grey just to catch those edges. The rear row of the armour as well, all highlighted there, as you can see. I love the dingy metal metal work here on the, on the trophy rack and also on that main bar of the trophy rack very dingy as well which is really nice moving around we've got the talon of horus here in a very subtly highlighted with the tips just glimmering in that sh silver sheen uh, you've got all the bullets and everything on the, on the bolt are all picked out there in a lovely fashion and then for his face as well he's got a very pallid kind of color hue to his face you've got that lovely lovely sort of subtle old pallid skin color on him as well just to show that he's a very old chap um but yes yeah, st not still very powerful but uh but a bit old uh, so that's just him and then obviously you can see the base there with all the skulls and everything fully picked out you've got that lovely lovely dead ultramarine lieutenant there as you can see uh, you've got the brazier here which is really nice in a subtle darker and like, orangey color the color goes through the reds to that sort of black tips on the flames as well which is really nice and uh, that fallen eagle there unfortunately uh, all the rocks and everything on the base highlighted through multiple stages with point of light source as well which is really cool and subtle amounts of grass and tufts on there as well uh, so this is another awesome abaddon model as you can see here uh, really really cool character and again we do specialize in characters so if you want a good example of a silver level character then this horus model is a great example of that uh, we're going to finish up by coming back again in a second just to have a look at him in all his dark majesty and uh, you can find out how to take out a character commission with us here at Siege. Stick around, that's coming up next. See you guys back in a sec.
So I do hope you like the video guys and having a look at the Warmaster Abaddon in more detail. He's an awesome, awesome model, which I'm sure you've seen from all the images online and also hopefully in our video as well. We had a pleasure working on it. I know Kev loved working on this character. Uh, if you are interested in a character commission with us, then all you need to do very simply is head to our website, which is linked in the description of this video. That takes you directly to the contact form. On that contact form, select the drop down options that are relevant for you including the message section and model list in our format, which is shown on there. And then if you do want sculpting, freehand converting, extra little details, we need you to go into depth about that. So do make sure that you put that information uh, in the description of your message. Um, and as always, guys, you know, we have our, all the social media links can be found in the description of the video. So Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, please go give us a like and follow respectively on there because you will keep up to date with everything that we are doing on uh, as a business. And finally, as you're here on YouTube, a couple of things, give us a thumbs up because we really appreciate it ever so much if you're not a subscriber of the channel then please do subscribe to the channel because it means you get to see all the lovely models which we produce for you guys and finally if you do hit that bell icon you will be updated with every video that we release so i hope you can do those few things and uh, keep up to date with what we do as a business i'll see you guys on the next one thank you for checking the video out see you soon take care bye Here at Siege, we've been asked by many people uh, on a weekly basis, if not daily, uh, about producing some form of online tuition or tutorials that people can have access to. Uh, we already run courses uh, all over the UK, uh, but we just don't offer an online service, and that's what this Patreon is for. 